What are some of the best red wines for beginners to try? Well, this is part four of a series called The Best Red Wines, and today we're going to be talking about Cabernet Franc. If the name Cabernet Franc sounds familiar to you, that's probably because it's related to Cabernet Sauvignon. Like Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, it's believed that this grape originates in the Bordeaux region of France. But you're probably never going to see it actually listed on a Bordeaux label. It's used mostly as a blending grape. The Bordeaux region of France is big on blending wines together, and that way they get a more consistent wine that is bigger than the sum of its parts. The Cab Franc is also pretty delicious on its own. In the 17th century, a French clergyman actually took the Cabernet Franc grape from the Bordeaux region up to the central part of the country, the Loire Valley. And there, they found that it started to thrive. Wines from the Loire are an excellent example of what Cab Franc can do. Unfortunately, the labels are a little hard to understand if you don't know about French wine. I'll be sure to give you some suggestions later in the video, so hang in there. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the flavors of Cabernet Franc. Now, since it is related to Cabernet Sauvignon, and yes, even Merlot, there are some similarities there, namely uh, red and black currants, and often raspberries. If the wine comes from a colder part of the world, you're apt to get some of those green flavors that we often talk about, uh, flavors like green bell peppers or tomato vine. The one thing that I find to be unique about Cabernet Franc is that it could often be floral and even herbal too. People will describe it as smelling or tasting like violets and sometimes even sage or thyme. It's usually a little less tannic and more smooth than Cabernet Sauvignon, also lighter in body, which you may be able to actually see here. I like to pair Cabernet Franc with seasoned roasts, poultry, pork, and even pot roast too. Anything that may be heavy on the herbs. For high-end Bordeaux, you will pay a premium, but for the most part, Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Franc blends are pretty affordable. You can get a really good bottle for under $30. Earlier, we were talking a little bit about how French wine labels can be so difficult to understand. And the primary reason is because French wines are named after the place in which they're made. If you're looking for really fantastic French Cabernet Franc, look for Samoa Champigny and Chinon. Of course, Cabernet Franc grows all over the world now. And fortunately, most of the other places in the world actually put the name on the bottle. Look to countries like South Africa, Italy, Argentina, and even Hungary. And of course, in the United States, California, Washington, Oregon, and believe it or not, a lot of the North Atlantic winemaking region. Places like Virginia and Pennsylvania are really making some great Cabernet Franc. Lastly, look for wines that are labeled Meritage. Now, this is actually a made up term, but it's now universally recognized to describe a red wine blend that uses the same grapes as Bordeaux wines do. All right, my friends, thanks so much for joining me for part four in our series, The Best Red Wines. I hope you're learning something about red wines and putting it to good use in your daily life. If you have some thoughts or comments, or maybe you'd like to see a certain wine talked about, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and that way you'll get the notifications whenever a new video comes out. Take care and enjoy your Cab Franc. Cheers.